Thanks for joining us for another Insight Tech Talk. I'm Christopher Hurd, Apple Alliance's lead for Connected Workforce. And I'm joined today by Aaron Anderson, National Strategy and Design Lead for Insight's Digital Innovation Team. So the workplace is undergoing massive changes, both environmentally and technologically. Due to the rise of mobile operating systems, increasingly fragmented endpoints, and traditional approaches to IT, IT organizations are facing a complex new paradigm of mobile work. As a result of this disruption, IT teams are struggling to balance two objectives, providing the most preferred experience for modern end users and doing so strategically, efficiently, and in a way that yields long-term value for the organization. So Aaron, why is it important for organizations to have a mobile strategy? What, what's the purpose? Yeah, thanks, Christopher. Um, what we've found is, you know, really with the rise of mobility in the workplace, um, it becomes a very complex um, environment, right? Um, we want to embrace the new working ways of uh, generations, multi-generational workforces, but also provide people a natural way of working the way that they're accustomed to, right? We all use personal devices in our day-to-day -day lives, and that's transcended over into the workplace. And we really look to embrace that. Um, as we look at that as really embracing it from the user's perspective, what does the user need um, to be successful in their job? Obviously, we do different tasks on our desktop than we do a mobile phone. And we want to take that into consideration and make sure that we're designing experiences um, that allow for success, allow those people to achieve um, the tasks that they're looking to. And we find a lot of opportunity within the mobile environment to really streamline processes. Um, you know, typically we find people in the workplace that they don't sit at their desks um, from nine to five anymore, right? They're mm -hmm. up, they're moving around. And so we look at processes that are tend to be overly complex or manual and find ways that we can streamline those, automate them, um, you know, as people are moving about their day um, with less um, load on the individual and um, place a lot of that through the device and the applications that can be developed for their specific environment. Um, the other last thing that we found is a lot of times, you know, people look at a mobile strategy as just a device. And that's where we find a lot of our um, clients, you know, mobile strategies start to fall apart or they don't have a strategy that's holistic in the nature of what it entails to pull off a successful program. And what I mean by that is, you know, it, it, we need to consider um, the applications that run on the device along with the device, um, organizational structures, make sure that we have the right support systems in place. Um, but there's also procurement of those devices. There's um, provisioning and management. You know, what is the um, infrastructure of the um, building and facilities that those people operate in? And we need to take all of those into consideration. Um, otherwise, we find a lot of, you know, mobile deployments um, kind of fall flat. Yeah, so a lot of complexity. There's new uh, multi-generational workforce, obviously streamlining processes. Seems like there's a lot. How does someone get started? Like, how do you effectively approach mobile strategy for the workplace? Yeah, so when we looked at this, um, you know, we've had a pretty structured approach. Um, as I mentioned first off, is we really want to be user-centric. And we want to bring that user and really the user experience forward as to mm -hmm. what is the right experience for that individual to be successful. Um, with this, we've actually created a offering along with in partnership with Apple um, called the Enterprise Mobility Enablement Program. And it's a three-tiered three um, process um, that guides organizations in developing that mobile strategy um, for their workplace along with embracing best practices um, with Apple devices. So three tiered process. Can you tell me a little bit more about the enterprise mobility enablement solution and how it's been designed to ensure client success? Yeah, sure. Um, so, yeah, so the three tiers, they're strategically built to um, kind of stack on top of each other, a layer cake, right? Um, you start out with the foundation and uh, the overall structure, we refer to it as walk, jog, run, right? We want to start out with the very basics, make sure that right. we're uh, covering the, you know, a very broad um, perspective as to um, what that user requires to be successful. And so that first tier, the walk phase, is really about observation of that individual. 
we often refer to it as a shoulder to shoulder exercise uh, where we're doing firsthand observation um, with that individual that we determine the persona and really observe what they do um, through their time from when they enter work, um, what tasks do they perform during their day to day job and um, to when they leave the office and just really do a, a comprehensive documentation of all the opportunities that exist where we can leverage mobility. The second uh, tier there is JOG, um, which we take those learnings and we bring that back to the stakeholders. And it's really a, a business alignment exercise. We do that in a workshop environment and get a lot of perspectives from different individuals to understand and prioritize um, what's really important um, and delivers value. And then the final phase, the run, is where we really get into comprehensive documentation of building a design brief and technical brief um, to be able to successfully achieve um, the outcomes. But along with that, we produce a prototype um, to be able to bring that vision to life. Um, it's not a, a you know working, uh, it's a working prototype, but not a um, one that's hooked up to data or anything. It's really about a clickable environment that allows someone to kind of touch and feel what that experience would be in the future. Okay. so. Three tiers, they're meant to build on each other. Can an organization, if they want to get started, can they jump right into, say, jog or run, or do they always have to start with walk? Yeah, so they do build on top of each other. So we always start out with walk. Okay. And that's really, you know, if you think about, um, it's kind of what we refer to as dipping the toe in the water, right? It gives you that initial understanding of where the opportunities are for mobility in the workplace. And we come out of that with really a document of saying, um, here's where you know the affordances for mobility. This is where the strengths lie, mm -hmm. and maybe that uh, turns into you know we have accessories that are required. Maybe some scanning um, options um, to be able to attach to that device. Maybe there's sensors, right? But again, we really want to look at that holistically and see you know based on the nuances of the workplace and that individual, um, what they need to do is, um, that's where we come out with that documentation is where we find those opportunities. Awesome, thanks for uh, explaining that, uh, the walk, jog, run in more detail. I love it because I think uh, we've worked with clients in the past where they're able to, to use that clickable prototype as a way of having that business justification conversation with leadership to take the project forward. So I think that's a critical step. Yeah, absolutely. And that's really where the prototype we uh, landed on that is really a key deliverable. Um, because we can go forward with a bunch of PowerPoints or you know um, keynote slides of saying, "Hey, this is the vision of what we want to do." But until somebody can put that in their hands and they can actually see it on the device that it's intended to operate on, and they can start to click around and they can see the workflows, um, again, you know, it just solidifies the value of that experience, and um, we see it as really a success to be able to achieve funding. Um, from an organization. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so, um, you know, the EME, as we refer to it often, the Enterprise Mobility Enablement, um, like I said, it's really intended for um, you know, companies that are struggling with their mobility um, strategy, um, somebody that's been, you know, kicking it around for a while. We also see a lot of times that, you know, um, we've, we've had kind of false starts, right? Mm -hmm. um, where they've put in a, a device order, maybe every um, individual has a device, but they aren't really getting used. The adoption wasn't there. And so it allows us to go back and repurpose or reframe um, really what is needed. And that's where that, um, as I say, being user centric and that user first um, perspective is really critical. Um, and going back is, you know, a lot of the failures of strategies that we've seen don't consider the user and they put out solutions that don't align to their real needs. And that's where we find devices ending up in drawers, which is, um, you know, it's not a win for anyone. Right, yeah, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah, um, so I'm curious from your side, right? Um, we've talked about a holistic strategy is not just about devices, it's not just about applications, but um, it's about procurement, it's about management, it's about infrastructure. And I know that you, know, you have a lot of experience in that space. So I'm wondering if you can talk us a little bit about capabilities that you provide and uh, how we round out a, a really comprehensive strategy for mobile. Yeah, so one of the things with Insight is, you know, we define ourselves as a super solutions integrator and really uh, we describe this new breed of uh, systems integrator who are digital transform uh, dr digital transformation experts. That's easy for me to say. Uh, so a single partner 
that can undertake the full scope of digital transformation project that can provide strategic guidance, the whole end-to-end -end capabilities to envision, build, deploy, and maintain those modern IT solutions. So when you apply that to what we're doing with Insight's Apple offerings, we can leverage the strength of the enterprise mobility enablement um, approach that you and your team take and couple that with the strategic consulting of connected workforce to execute on the deployment, the management, and the support of the mobile strategy created from your team. And so what our team will do is we'll come in and we'll help ensure that the infrastructure is configured and optimized to leverage that zero touch deployment uh, for the mobile endpoints. We'll also help automate any provisioning workflows to streamline the procurement of the hardware into the enrollment into the Apple Business Manager and the management platform, and then ensure that we can uh, quickly and easily configure those devices, deploy and support those mobile devices once they're out in the field. And really the, the whole key is that our solution is designed to eliminate complexity and reduce cost, um, the cost of managing those mobile endpoints so that we can help deliver on that great end user experience. Yeah, I love that, it's critical. Um, that zero touch deployment, um, that's where I think a lot of value comes through and um, you know, takes alleviates the IT team from having to do a lot of that support uh, really great. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I love the fact that what we can do is help execute what you can help the clients envision. Uh, so it really is a great partnership. So Aaron, we're coming up to our time. I want to say thank you for joining us today and providing your insights. It's been a pleasure. Um, in closing, I just want to share with our audience, if you'd like to find out more inspiration and insights for the future of business, check out our digital magazine, The Tech Journal, you can read and subscribe at insight.com slash tech journal. And if you'd like to get in touch with either Aaron or myself, you can reach us at apple services at insight.com. Thanks for joining. Thank you.